How's it going, everybody? I've wanted to do a DCV and NSX series of videos for <laughs> a long time. So I'm finally able to get around to actually doing that. And it's actually a, something that I've wanted to do because it'll give me the ability of not only playing around with the technology the way that I want to play around with it, but it'll give me a baseline to basically go through and uh, earn the VCP in NSX and then eventually desktop mobility. But it'll also give me a plat uh, two platforms. One platform to really dive into data center virtualization and prepare for and take the VMware Certified Advanced Professional exam, the deploy, which from the last time I checked, um, I have to take one exam, there, technically there's two, there's design and then there is deploy. And I'm not exactly 100% sure exactly what that looks like, but uh, not there yet to really figure that out. So I'll figure that, out, figure that out at a later point in time. But if you happen to be someone that's VCAP certified and you know how the process works, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to have a conversation with anybody that's VCAP certified. But my goal is to dive into NSX as well and dive into all the details that go that work alongside of it and to see exactly how that plays out. So I've got two different environments that I'll be working on. One is going to be more of a virtual environment where I've deployed Server 2012 R2 on a server and I've installed VMware Workstation, which I will show you guys here in just a minute, and how I'm going to build out my data center virtualization lab where we're going to have a couple of hosts and play around with the technologies get vCenter going and all the details that work inside of that some really cool stuff I also have a physical environment which I will be using to deploy NSX on so I'm working on building the lab up so I'm actually going to have two different VMware labs working at the exact same time the virtual lab will be data center virtualization focused so I can play around with all the different whiz-bang wow features of data center virtualization inside of VMware Workstation. And then I'm going to be looking at the physical environment for NSX. And hopefully the goal will be able to deploy my VMware environment, the physical and the virtual, and then deploy NSX on top of both. Don't know if that's going to work or not, but I'm certainly going to give it a shot to see exactly how it will play out. But... Long story short, I have a couple of environments I'm going to be rolling out. I'm going to be doing a deep dive on DCV. And originally my plan was to record a bunch of videos on the data center virtualization pieces for the NSX part. So for the NSX focus videos, where we focus on NSX for vSphere and then we focus on NSXT at some point in the future. Well... The problem that I ran into, or I shouldn't say ran into, um, I wanted to be hyper-focused on data center virtualization because I'm taking it beyond the VCP level of understanding that I have, and I want to really ramp up and play around with the capabilities that you need to, to, to play with in order to knock out the VCAP. That's something I've always wanted to do, so I'm like, you know what? Eh, no better time like the present, right? Because I got a little over two years before I need to recertify anything for Cisco. And I've only got to take one more exam and I've recertified. And I've got uh, CCMP and security is my current goal. But I've decided to put all my Cisco stuff on the back burner and focus on VMware for a little bit. Because I've never really done the deep dive that I wanted to. I've always just kind of glossed over some of the topics. I've never really demoed all of them out. So my goal is to play around with those. And the last time I checked, the... VMware Advanced Pro exams for data center virtualization for 6.7 ends in June. So I really kind of have about four months to get up on that exam and get it done. So hoping within the next four months I can do that. So that's basically where that comes into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to show you my environment. I'm going to show you the DCV version first and show you kind of what it is I'm going to be planning on doing and uh, deploying the hosts and things like that and then I'll show you the NSX environment that I'm rolling out which is still not fully rolled out I still have to build it out a little bit but what's cool about it is it gives me the opportunity to, to still play with the DCV aspects of things you still get to do distributed switches you got to do your 
clustering and things like that. So these are things that I'm going to be adding in as we go along. So let's go ahead and take a look at my DCB environment real quick and take a look at exactly what that guy has. So let me go ahead and bring this guy over, go to green, click on this guy. So here is my data center virtualization lab. So I've got VMware Workstation 16 deployed sitting on Windows Server 2012 R2, right? It's a the eval copy and that'll be more than enough time for me to play around with this stuff. So the goal is I have a two terabyte external hard drive that I'll be using for all of my storage for DCB and getting that rolled out. And then I will be able to play around with all the DCB features and stuff like that. So I'll be able to deploy a network file share. I'll be able to do vSAN and dive into all the technologies that go along with that. So it's going to take me, and it won't take me an extremely long amount of time because my, my main goal is to focus on the technologies that I don't know as well. So for example, I've never actually rolled out auto deploy for to deploy a new ESXi host. I've never really rolled out vCenter high availability, um, stuff like that. Those are going to be the things that I've never really actually done. So my goal is to take advantage of the time, focus on the areas that I have not touched yet, not worry about the areas that I have, just try to keep a standard level of understanding across the board, bring everything up to a certain baseline. And then once I can do everything without thinking about it, then I know I'm in a good spot. I'm thinking that's going to take me probably two to four weeks about that. So I'll, I should be towards the end of March. I should be in a really good spot in order to maybe then schedule the VC, the VCAP exam. The problem is, is a, that you don't ever really get a long-term window. There's only one place in my area where I can actually schedule the exam. So that would be the goal. So there's that piece. Let's go ahead and take a look at the NSX environment real quick and how that's going to look. So the NSX environment is right here. Pull this guy up. So NSX is already partially deployed. We go ahead and log into vCenter. Now, I don't have any of the NSX bits laid out yet, but once I, I just got the iSCSI communication up and running. So, and all that is good to go. So I've got my three hosts on iSCSI, which is exactly what I wanna have. Now I just have to go over here to hosts and clusters. I have to add the host to the clusters. I have to add the distributed switches and all the stuff that goes along with that. So I'm actually in a really good spot with this lab in order to get it to where it needs to be to do NSX. And these are physical servers, these guys. If we come over here, this is a physical server. This is a physical server. They're all the same model, just slightly different variants in, this, in the processor. So I'm going to be doing, in the physical world, I will be doing NSX. In the virtual world, I'll be doing data center virtualization. So really cool stuff. So that is my... That's my goal right now. Now I also have some other goals. And these are the goals that I have for data center virtualization and NSX are pretty immediate. Um, specifically the data center virtualization VCAP, that's pretty much front and center. I'll spend some time learning NSX. I don't think NSXT, I've already learned a lot about NSXV. I need to extend that to NSXT and dive into those details. Beyond that, I do want to dive into vSphere 7, which I had to go look up the what's new, take a look at how to actually deploy everything and go through all the steps. Because before I can go through and deploy a bunch of vSphere 7, uh, or record a bunch of vSphere 7 content and then roll it out on YouTube, I kind of know, I kind of need to know what I'm talking about. So that's my goal is to go through and talk about how that stuff comes into play with uh, how the addition of Kubernetes on vSphere and Tanzu and all that type of stuff comes into play, which I don't know any of that stuff yet. So uh, that's my that's my goal, right? Is to get through and learn how these technologies work. If I can make them work together, great. If not, so be it and stuff like that. So I'm actually l really looking forward to all the labbing that I'm gonna be doing and stuff like that. But I wanted to record a quick video that was gonna kind of highlight what it is we're gonna be doing as we move forward with the VMware course. So anything that's, I'm going to do my best to do anything that's specific to data center virtualization is going to have VMware DCV in the title. Anything that's specific to virtualization 
or I'm sorry, NSX will have NSX in the title so that I can keep it separated. I'd love to be able to do all the DCB first and then all the NSX after that, but it doesn't look like it's going to be able to work out that way. And I will order them, you know, 001 through 0, you know, 122 or however many videos come out of the entire series and all that good stuff that goes along with that. So lots of really cool stuff. That's what I'm planning on doing. And I'm going to be getting, I'm kicking off the, the recording of those videos. Some of them are already recorded. So I'm going to be getting the NSX environment up, finishing that up. But I'm also going to be recording a lot of content on data center virtualization. So if there's something you would like me to, to attempt to demo for you or you'd like to see covered, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.